The Chaos mod for GTA 4 activates random effect every few seconds in your game, resulting in hilarious moments and providing hours of fun. <laughs> what is this? In this video I'll teach you how to downgrade your game, how to install this mod, how to set it up, and as a bonus if you're a Twitch streamer, I'll teach you how to set up chat voting where your chat can choose an effect for you so it's not completely random. Let's begin with the installation, shall we? Firstly, you need a completely clean installation of GTA 4 version 1.0.8.0. The current Steam version as of me recording this video is 1.2.0.59. If you don't have a Steam version, the way to check which one you have is to open up your game directory and find your GTA4.exe. Right click on it, choose properties, details and here is your answer. If it says 1080 then the next step is not necessary. If not then visit the first link in the description which will take you to the GTA 4 downgrader. You can use any downgrader you want by the way, I find this one to be the most reliable one. So teach you how to use this one, download it from here and place the archive onto your desktop. You need to extract it and open up the exe. Click on next, find your GTA 4 directory and click on next. If there's a check mark here, the folder you selected is valid and you can proceed. Select the recommended version 1.0.8.0 and click on next. You'll not be playing multiplayer, so just click on next without selecting an option. I personally don't care about the radio station, so I skip this step, select whichever option you want or just skip it like I do. On this page, if you scroll down, you'll see the Z menu which activates the chaos mod. However, I'll not be installing it through this downgrader, but directly from the source. Don't touch anything here and click on next. If you want a backup of your game make one by selecting this option, otherwise just downgrade. This could take a while so sit back, relax, watch a different Bad Infos video as you wait, click the like button or if Bad Infos is streaming currently on Twitch, say hello. Anyway, once it's done, click on next. Skip this step as well since most likely you'll be making a new save game to play Chaos. Select the first option, it won't hurt, and also make a check mark here if you plan on playing in windowed mode. If not, don't select it. Click next and you can then exit the downgrader. Ok, so now when you find your exe, click on properties and details and you'll see that you have the proper version. Alright, time for the chaos mode. Visit the second link in the description which will take you to the Z menu and chaos. Scroll all the way down and download the archive. Open it up. Grab everything apart from the first three folders and place it into the main GTA 4 directory. And that is it, the chaos mod is installed. We still need to configure it however, so let's open up the game. Once loaded up, get out of your car to shut Roman up and press F7. This will open up the Z menu. You navigate it by pressing O, 2, 4, 5, 6 and 8. 5 is to select, 0 is to go back and the rest are for directions. Choose Chaos mod and turn it on. Select this option, like it says, this is for your audio levels. I personally don't mess with it but you can if you want. Select finish configuration once you're done. Select configure, UI options, timer bar, timer bar color, my preferred one is rainbow cycling, but select which one you like the most and go back to configure. Here select behavior options. The first option shows you how often an effect will happen. By default each 30 seconds a new chaos effect will activate. Increase or decrease the option to your preference. Personally I think that 30 seconds is too often, lots of effects will fail your missions and many of the missions are very lengthy. So many 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 effects will happen as you complete a mission, selecting 45 is the sweet spot, but again personal preference. This is the basic setup of the chaos mod, if you're playing solo this is all you need to do. If you're a Twitch streamer however and you wanna involve chat then keep watching. To enable chat voting you need to open up the Z menu by pressing F7, select the chaos mod, configure, behavior options, turn on chat voting, go down, type in your Twitch username, select connect, enable this option, the rest personally I don't touch but you can let people activate an effect when they subscribe, change the voting window colors, increase the voting options and so on. Mess around with this if you want, I leave them as is. Alright, go back and activate the chaos mod. This will pop up 
in a second window. Your viewers will see it, but you should put it behind your game window so you don't see it. In here you can also save your settings so every time you open up the game you don't have to configure everything manually. Save them and the next time you open up the game simply load them up. Alright, time to configure OBS. Open up OBS and make a new scene. To add your game, use Window Capture, very important since Game Capture produces lots of problems. Select GTA 4, this third option and click OK. Now let's add the voting window. Do the same as before but this time select the window executable. And there we go, it's on top of your game. Now click on the voting window capture and select filters. On the left side select chroma key, select a custom color, select color, under HTML type this number and click OK. The rest of the settings you can just copy from me, pause the video and choose the same ones I did. Alright, once you have copied them, you can close the filters. You can now move your window around and it will be transparent. Hover with your mouse to the right edge of this window and hold the ALT button. Drag and drop it until you reach the text. Do the same to the other edges and now you can adjust the position easier. Alright, so time to add your webcam, your chat, alerts and so on. Go back into your game and have fun with your viewers just like I did for 6 months <laughs> while we played through this entire game on twitch.tv slash badinfos with the chaos mod. Leave a follow there, subscribe to YouTube, leave a like if I helped and thank you for watching. A very special thank you goes to my top supporters who are Paula Vilikanian, Case Knights, Monish Pradeep, Sepp Levy, Epic Elev, The Sleep Gate Studios, Shin Tay, Max Rich, Clint McCurdy, Jacob Madley, Max Robinson, Unknown Stranger, Jim Francesco's and everybody else.